What's up, ZBrushers? Welcome back to Z Fever. My name is Ricky, coming at you with another method for generating topology within ZBrush to be able to be used with the Z Modeler brush. A couple of video, a couple of videos ago, I introduced uh, a couple of methods that I thought would be useful uh, that are kind of uh, spins on on old methods. I talked about generating topology through retopology methods with Z spheres. Then I also talked about generating topology through extraction from masks. Now, those methods are good. Uh, you can get a long way with them. But the one problem that I was running into as I've been sandboxing this uh, this program since it came out to you know try to come up with uh, a workflow that works for me um, was that with those methods they're they're good but the problem is that uh, I want to be able to get more uh, out of the program as far as shape is concerned in, in other words while I can pull those shapes out um, right off the right off the mesh in general what I really want to get is a better form to go from before uh, I jump into the Z modeler. Call it laziness, call it what you want, but um, that's what I've been searching for. So um, I recall that uh, Joseph Drust had uh, done a helmet building tutorial where he was using morph targets to generate uh, difference measures. And so I've been playing around with it and it seems like it's actually a pretty good uh, way to go in order to get to this point. So let me show you what I'm doing here. So I've got this uh I've got this chick here who needs uh she needs she needs a helmet because uh she wasn't wearing one and it messed up her other eye. <laughs> uh so um what I did is I duplicated this mesh and I'm gonna solo it real quick and just see how lovely she is. <laughs> So, um, I duplicated this mesh, and then, oh, come on now, and then, um, what I did is, uh, I just started sculpting out pieces that I wanted, uh, and here's how, here, here's how I got these. So if you come down here and you create a morph target, let me delete the one that I already have. So basically it's going to store a morph target. So basically what it's doing is it is looking at this topology and it is saying, okay, I know that this is my baseline. And so from that, I want to be able to create other topology so what I'm gonna do is get out the Z modeler first of all that's just gonna trip me all up um, what I want to do is is I'm, I'm trying to create pieces that fit in with the rest of the mesh that I've been sculpting on so if I just come in here with any brush I'm just gonna use a clay build up you don't have to use this exact setup but what I can do is, you know just sculpt out geometry that I think will work for a uh, design that I want to go for. Right now I don't really have direction that I'm really headed for. But, um, you can grab this and then, uh, let's, let's grab Damien Standard. I'm just gonna kinda create some creases here. And I'm gonna come back over it with the uh, with my H polish stamp that back down so I can come over this and I don't have to be too uh, you know you can go you can go pretty crazy with it I'm not going to uh, but basically all I'm trying to do is get a general shape that I you know that runs along the lines of the design that I'm going for right 
So I've got this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a difference mesh. So I'm going to click this. And then what it's going to do is it's going to spit out this topology right here. So if I come back into my tool, my subtool palette, and go append and grab that piece, it's going to drop it in there. Now you're not going to see it because it's existing in the same space. But if I hop over here and solo this out, now you can see that it has created a completely different mesh. But what I want to do is kind of clean this up a little bit. It has no subdivision level, so I can go through and uh, delete some parts off of this. So I'm going to get rid of um, the poly groups that I don't want. Delete hidden. Then if we come in with our uh, slice curve, I can quickly get rid of um, other things that I don't need. Get rid of that one last part. I think that's it. Okay, so um, delete hidden. And now I want to take this mesh, turn on symmetry. And I'm going to throw it into the Z remesher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the target polygon count all the way down. Leave adapted where it is. You can play around with this, but you know it's not necessary. And boom. So I'll, I'll hit this like two or three times just to see if it gives me any uh, better results. The cool thing, one of the reasons why I use the Damien standard was because zero measure tends to look for uh, the normal difference and so it kind of already gives me something that I can use to set um, set as a, a boundary for a crease so once I'm done with this I'm say I'm satisfied with it now I can jump back over into the Z, Z modeler brush and I can just start cleaning it up making it ready for other uses drop some creases in here You know, and you can just keep building up, building up, um, and adding shapes. And the, the reason I like this is, like I said, is once I'm done with this, let me turn off that. This guy. So now I have a piece that sits in the space that I need it to sit in. You know, you can, even with this, you can still shape it come in with the move brush make it fit in there and you know the sky's the sky's the limit you know they didn't have to jump out to Maya didn't have to go anywhere else just did it right here so um you know some of you guys might have figured this out already, and uh, congratulations. <laughs> um, but uh, I hope this is useful. Um, I, I feel like this is probably going to be a technique I'm going to be running with for a while until I, I find something else. Uh, but, uh, you know, quick way to make uh, cool headgear or something like that, right? So I hope this was useful. Uh, if you have any ideas that you would like to share or any questions, definitely give me a shout. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. 
and uh, happy ZBrushing. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.